I'm going to start off with these guys, these short little guys, because they have some bandaging uh, with them. This one is kind of a gift because this is a corner with two edges associated with it. So this is already reduced. What I need to do is I just need to put in the correct blue and yellow. This blue and yellow is, is here, but it's not the right one. This is why we're not going to end up with parity, and this is why we're not going to have um, we're not going to mess up with edges. I'm already putting in the edges now, almost like AI style. So let's rotate this. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And uh, we're fine. Now notice we messed up our, our bottom layer, but that's okay. We didn't really have to put it in. That was just to demonstrate. But I'm free to move this, and I want to find the other orange and blue. It's right over here. It's got to be this one. Um, is it this one? Nope. This one is a center one. There's this one too. So it could be this or this. Which one? Well, let's see. First off, I think this one is in... in this one is in the wrong layer. So I'm going to say it's this one. R-I-D-I-R-D. -I -I now understand what I'm doing is I'm just moving this to the proper layer, which is here. So now I can move this around and bang, there it is. Okay. So now that that's in, I have to put it, I have to put the right corner here, uh, the right edge over here. So let's go ahead and rotate this around. R I D I R. D, R, I, D, I, R, D. And although there's some scrambling sort of that's going on, notice my greens are always going to be down here and my blues are always going to be on the top, my blue middle edges, which means I won't be bandaged. So yellow and orange. There's a gift. They're all here and they're lined up. So let's turn them right. R, I, D, I, R, D. Now because I took green out of the picture, the major bandaging is going to be done. So it's going to be a lot easier to find our way through. Okay, so there that is, and look at this. I could just move it right in, and there it is. So this is all in. And again, this is why you're not going to run into parity with edges. I'm not going to have this over here and have to do an impossible switch. You can't do that with AI techniques. I'm um, sorry, you can't do that with IQ techniques, but you can with AI. So this is already here. These corners are going to be lined up with this. So this is already reduced. Don't worry about these centers. I'm not doing that in my AI reduction. And I'm going to keep it in this orientation because if I rotate it here, I'm going to be bandaging the top. So I've got all layers freed up over here. So the next one, I'll do the other one that looks like this. Find the corner, it's over here. So I want this to line up with blue and yellow. Well, here's the blue and yellow here. Could it be this one or could it be this one? That's a good question. Well, what I'll do is let's rotate this down. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And if I rotate here, you can see it's this one. It lines up here nicely. Now to move this in, I had to break this, but just for a second, I'll move it here. Now I'll turn this around and then move it back. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Now I can't move it back like this because it's bandaging it. So do it again. That's why I want to do this one first because the bandaging gets a little complicated. So this is lined up. Now I can just simply move it back. But we have a problem. I'm bandaged here. So I can't move this back yet. R, D, R, I, D, I, R, D. So what do I do about this dilemma? I have no way of moving this, turning it, and moving this back, but that's okay. okay. So what I need to do is, let's do a corner swap of these two because I'm trying to coordinate where one turn will move this to here and this to here, and I can't seem to find that. If I move it here and corner swap, this will be here, so I'll have to move it twice to be here, and this will just have to move once. So let's go ahead and corner swap to put this corner next to the corner where it's supposed to be. So the corner swap, remembering, this is R, this is L, and this is my middle. So that's 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, UI, D, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. Simple, and I can move this back. Okay, so simple strategy with that. So if I move this here in, and then move it once out, and then I do another corner swap, that'll take this and move it to here, and this will move to here, which means I just have to, if this is here, one more turn will move this into place. And because this will be swapped, 
one more turn will move this into place in the same way. So the way that I remember that is move it in, then move it once over, and do another corner swap. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R, UI, 2R, U, oops, 2R. And now look what happens. Now I've coordinated it to where one more turn will move this in, and this is now reconstituted. So we're good. Now the next step is, well, we can try to get this in. And that might be this piece over here. I think that's all we have left. So what I'm going to do is I need to separate it from these guys here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this upside down. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Okay. So my goal was to be able to separate it from from this over here. So I'm going to take this, move this across, and I'll let's flip this over. R I Make sure I didn't move. Okay. R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R D this orange and white which could come to this one R I D I R D R I D I R D all right going to try to move it in with this now I've got the white and the orange one here I've got this here R I D I R D D I R D okay I move the top one and bingo there it is now that I've got this I want to move this back over here. So the way that I'm going to do that is the same way. Move it in, move it once more, and then coordinate the proper corner swap. And the proper corner swap will be to take this and move it to here so that one turn back will put this where it needs to be here, and this will be where it needs to be here. That's 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R UI, 2R. U, 2R. You can use this technique to solve any camouflage cube. One turn in, this comes back, and this is where it needs to be here. So, now I want to line this orange and white with, say, this one. So let's move this down. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And we just keep going with that. Now, you guys are probably worried about that last step of an AI cube, but don't worry. I got a plan for that. Move this in, it's good. Move this top side. And I shouldn't bandage it because it was at the lowest level of this corner. So we just move it back and we were given a little gift because this happened to be in the right place. So if you notice, I've got this all in, I've got this all in. Well, not exactly all in, I just got these here. So now I'm gonna move this top side to separate it from here. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Now I just have to move this layer in. I'm looking for the white and blue. Here's a white and blue over here. Is it the correct one? And yes. So that's fine here. So I'm going to do the same thing to coordinate it with this guy. Move it in, move it one beyond, and do a corner swap. 2R U, 2R U I, 2R, turn, turn. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And now put it over here. So now this is all in, and this is all in. Should I get these guys in? Well, you can, but it's going to be incredibly difficult, and there's no need. So as long as, again, I've got the corner and all the edges in, I'm good. I ignore the centers. So I've got these two. Now I've just got to coordinate these guys here. So we can see that we already have a lot of it set up. I've got this corner with this edge, these two edges are already in, and this edge is already in. I just need this one. This is already in over here. So let's see. I'm looking for the red and blue. It's obviously not this one. I'm lucky enough to not have it here. So the red and blue is going to be this guy. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Move this in. Now that I have that, I'm going to move this top side. R I D I R D R I D I R D. 
Now that I have that, I can move this whole thing back like so. Okay, now it's going to behoove me to take this and move this up because this will bandage me from here. This won't, but this will. So I'm going to go R I D I R D R I D I R D. So if you notice, this now won't bandage me over here. So this is all in. This is all good. Now in the meantime, I've got the blue and or uh, yellow, blue and yellow. So why don't I take this over here? That moves this in, and now I can move this top side. R I D I R D D I R D and very quickly move it back. So now I've got these over here. So now it's just a matter of coordinating these guys. Here's a white and red. I can go over here. Now this whole thing is going to be in. I've got this over here too. So now I have a situation where I just need to coordinate these two. This needs to come here by this edge and this needs to come here. Well, I've got a way of doing that already. Move it in, move it one more, and you guessed it, do a corner swap. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, turn, turn. If this is unfamiliar to you, look at the AI solve technique and look at the camouflage technique. It's exactly the same. And turn. And then I just turn it once more. This is coordinated, this is coordinated, as is this, and as this. Are we done? Well, let's move these two last pieces next to each other. So I'm going to do another corner swap. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R. Okay, these turn next to each other. Uh, the only thing I need now is. This actually, this whole thing is actually in. This corner is associated with all of these. I don't worry about the center. This corner is not. This corner is associated with this, but uh, this layer is not correct and this layer is not correct. So let's move this top side here. R I D I R D R I D I R D. What I mean by that is that this doesn't belong here. This and this, they have to kind of swap. But I'm not going to coordinate a swap between these two. It's not going to work that way. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over here and I'm going to turn this upside down. It is going to mess this up. So don't worry. I know I'm going to mess this layer up from this corner, but that's okay. Because when I move this over here and I turn it upside down, I'll always be one layer off. So this will be one layer off. So when I turn it back, when this is turned around, all the layers will be in except one. So this will be one layer off and this will be one layer off. Here's what I mean by that. Take it out of the way, rotate this so that this can be in conjunction with this. R I D I R D. Now you see why I did these two last layers because it'll be very difficult to coordinate these guys. Now we simply move it back. So what we have is all of these are in except for this last layer. All of these are in except for this last layer. This red and white will coordinate with this. This red and blue will coordinate with this. All I have to do is go R I D I R D R I D I R D. Keep turning it around until they're lined up. Okay. So here's what I did. White and red needs to come with this. Red and blue needs to come with this. We already have a way of making that happen. Move it in, then move it one more beyond, do a corner swap. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, turn, turn, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R, and do your turn. And lo and behold, there it is. Our AI solve is done. It doesn't look done, but trust me, it's done. Because all of these corners are associated with all the right edges, and we're ignoring the center. Unless you think it still looks pretty disorganized, what we're now going to do is we're going to do a 3x3 three three solve, and this 3x3 three three solve will get us back to our native shape, now that we've reduced corners and edges, and it will have eliminated any parity. So let's go ahead and do our 3x3 three three solve again. Get our cross, all of our green crosses here. Move this down. Now I'm moving this like a 3x3 three three, and I will not run into any trouble with destroying any of my reduction if I do this. And let's see, this goes to the white. This goes here. This 
goes to the red, bang. So I've got my cross, these are in. You can see they're lined up with a proper center. And so two next, I will get back my corners. All right, no need to get into too much detail with this. You can see this lines up here. White and orange. So not heavy on algorithms, but heavy on strategy, which is right up my alley. Nothing different than before. Okay, we've got this all in. Now we're gonna get the middle layer, which again is this layer over here. Line up. Now you might accidentally move the wrong layer, so just try to keep your perspective. Turn, turn, and turn, so this is good. Uh, okay, this goes down to here. This is the white one. Turn, 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 turn and down, so that's good. This yellow one comes down to the white over here. Turn, 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 same three by three algorithms. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, sometimes you can. This comes down to here, turn, turn. So you're seeing this puzzle getting more and more organized and you must keep the organization perspective amidst the chaos that it appears. This is in, this is in, this is in, this is in. So our middle layer edges are complete. Now I just get the last layer. Right side up, right side up, um, upside down. Don't look at this one, it's this one. So these are upside down, this is right side up. So we do our F, R, U, R, I, U, I, Fi, you can see these are all oriented. And now do whatever three by three strategy you would like. I've got this lined up here, this is lined up here. This happens to be lined up here and this is lined up here. If not, use the same three by three technique. Find the edges that are in. These are now, uh, I'm sorry, corners that are in. These are now all corners. None of them appear to be in. So I'm just gonna go turn, 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 turn. This is the corner permuting algorithm. Turn and turn. Anyone in yet? And this one, because this is orange, yellow, and blue, orange, yellow, and blue. So do that same corner permuting algorithm here. So this is in, this is in, and you can see this is in because it's all lined up. So now I just RIDA, RD these last corners into submission, RIDI. Collectively, these are my three by three corners. I've reduced them as such. DIRD. Now we're good. Turn this over here. And I keep doing this until the blue's on top. RD, RIDIRD. All right, D, I, R, D, and again. And when dealing with a novel puzzle, it's kind of exciting to see a plan come together. And frustrating to see it fall apart because you made one silly mistake. Bang. And now we move this in place, and there it is. There's our three by three saw that has got us our native shape. All the centers need to be placed, but this completely avoids, by doing this strategy, this completely avoids any edge parities whatsoever. All edge parities are fine. Now it's just a matter of moving the centers in. Um, fairly straightforward, but there's a couple of pitfalls that we have to bear in mind. Now that we have these, Bear in mind that the centers that are gonna give you the most variability is the top here and the bottom here. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, the seven by six. The rest of them, it's gonna be, there could be some difficulties with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start to move uh, the greens to the green and the blues to the blues. And what I'm gonna do is take some of these and do the technique of moving it in I'm gonna turn, let's, let's say we wanna get this one in. So let's find where this is supposed to be. Turn it over here. That moves it in here. Take it out of the way. Double turn, take it back, and just reverse it. 
This is like any last two center algorithms. Now you're going to find that they don't always invariably fit. You might end up bandaging something, but anyway, that puts that in. Um, so too, I'm just going to keep following suit. Now I'm going to put the blues in here now. Turn. You can see we have to line things up pretty well. I'll do this one. Now here's where the bandaging comes in. Now notice I'm putting this one in. When I double turn, like this, it's bandaged with that. So I can't do it that way. So that's what I mean. So I simply cannot move these in like that. However, if I move it like this, and instead of moving it up, let's see what happens if I move it down. So now I can. I can use this one. So positioning means something here. And it is easy to start to lose track. All right, so I was, now I'll do the same thing with this. Nope, it goes to the same place, so I can't use it like that. Move this around, where else can I use? How about here? Turn, okay, can I move it this way? Yes. So it's possible to do it, you just have to figure out what you're doing here. So slowly but surely, I've moved all the greens away from here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start plopping them down into here from the top. So you can see this moves here, turn. This is where we're gonna start getting some potential issues with bandaging. This is, uh, you've seen this with a layer by layer approach. There's no difference. So come here. The only difference is the possibility of running into some bandaging, which I have yet to do, which is good, I guess. All right, this can come over to here, turn. See, this won't work on that side. So I'll move it over here and see if this will work. And this will. So it's a matter of moving it to the right layer so that we won't get bandaging can fit here. Turn, 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 up, across, and up. All right, this whole layer is done. Now let's do some of our whites here. Turn, turn. That is in a different layer, so that's good. Okay, now notice this got bandaged over here, so we've got to be careful. So instead, knowing that that's going to happen, I'm going to move the white one in here, and I'm going to move two of these, these two layers, knowing that it's going to bandage if I don't. So I'll move both of these, move it down. So now I can move them both, because now I see it's bandaged. But that's no problem now. I planned on that. And turn. Might not have had exactly the, the effect I was looking for, but that's pretty good. But I'm gonna keep moving both of them while I have that possibility. All right, let's keep moving in our whites. So that kind of messed me up a little bit early on, realizing that I can do it like that. And let's see. Yep, can do this. Turn, turn, turn. And turn. Okay. Oop. Got to move both of these. And turn. Okay. All the way down here. Turn. 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 And turn. Okay, we're filling in these layers pretty nicely. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze this into here. 
Oh, that works. Didn't think it would. But it's always worth a try and turn. Turn, turn. Okay, filling in the reds here now. And turn. Okay, step by step. It's almost hypnotic doing this. Turn this over here. Now with some of these layers, you're gonna find the bandaging is gonna get a little worse. So the blue is always a good one to fall back on. Bunch of whites. Aha. Well, I fear the worst with, oh. I'll be darned. Okay. I never would have guessed that would work. Okay, this to come to here. Okay, this one bandages two layers, so that tells me I have to move two layers so that there's no worries. And turn. Okay, you're almost gonna see this solved. The first five by six by seven, super floppy eye, whatever, but I prefer to think of it as a camouflage because that's really what this is. And that's really how I'm solving it. And turn. Okay, kind of a marathon of center placement. Nope, oh, that's not going to work there. Is it going to work here? Yeah. It will, but I have to make sure that I move it correctly where I move to. That way I don't run into any trouble with bandaging. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Move this to here, 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 here. Here. Okay, so I'm still taking windows of opportunity here. Okay, maybe I can double turn this. Double turn like so. Turn it here. Nope. How about the other direction? Double turn this. Aha! It's just a matter of finding the right movement. Oh. Okay, so we are down to just a couple more. Maybe I can do that trick again. Double turn here, here. That won't work from that perspective, but maybe it'll work from this one. Yep, so you just had to swing it around. Turn and turn. So if one direction didn't work, try the next one. So now I'm down to the last two. Okay. I'm still trying to find that magic combination. How about orange? Maybe orange can be a good go-between. Looking for a mediator, actually. Yeah, that seems to work. I like how smooth that seems to move. Okay, now let's see if we can move Okay, I'm just taking it from a different perspective here. Okay, so I've got it down to these two and it uh, looks like it's in a pretty good position. So I'll move this up <clears throat> here, turn, 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 down, across, down, turn. Oops, still didn't quite make it, so turn it over here. And I'm just going to kind of judge and see where things go. Turn here and down and done. 
bang, so there it is. So believe it or not, aside from perspective, uh, the easy part is actually doing the camouflage portion. To put the centers in, it's a matter of positioning and just keep trying, just keep plugging and chugging. If you can't seem to get it from one side to another, one center from one side to another, just move it to another center and just keep trying, um, keep trying to plug it in that way. If it doesn't move from there, put it at a different spot from here using another layer. But anyway, that's the general technique. That's the basic technique. No special algorithms at all, just a lot of positioning. But to me, this seems more like a five by six by seven camouflage cube. It's, um, it has some aspects that might seem like a floppy like this, but I don't look at it as a floppy at all because I didn't really do any floppy techniques and nor did I do any techniques that had to do with floppy parity. So to me, it's a five by six by seven camouflage cube, but named as a five by six by seven floppy eye cube extreme. Either way you look at it, excellent idea from the standpoint of the builder who did an excellent job putting it together. Hope to see a lot more of this. And I would recommend that there be a whole line of these things opened up of different higher order camouflage puzzles like this. Very entertaining and fun. Thanks for the puzzle. Thanks for watching.